Hey everybody and welcome to Facebook Live. I'm Grant, this is Jeanette, Hello. and we are live in the Rachel Ray Show Prep Kitchen and today we're celebrating one of our favorite foods and it's also one of your favorite foods because you guys requested we that we make pizza. So today Yay. we're celebrating all things pizza. Yes we are. It's pizza Thursday. Um, and just like always in the comments below, let us know what you guys are thinking. Um, and tell us what your favorite pizza toppings are, because that's the most important part of a pizza, right? Yes, it is. Um, so down below, let us know what you guys are thinking, and tell us what you like on your pizza. Um, and I think Jeanette's going to kick it off first, right? I am, yeah. I think I just got things started. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to make my favorite kind of pizza. And I promise you that this pizza cooks so fast that it'll be done even before you call the delivery guy. Ooh, wow. Um, so this is my grilled pizza, and this is a um, technique that I use a lot. Um, when it comes to making pizza, you can do it on an indoor grill or an outdoor grill. This is my, um, I'm gonna make a grilled salad pizza. Oh yeah. So um, right now I have my um, dough on the grill and um, you just wanna preheat an indoor grill on medium high or an outdoor grill just on high. Yeah. Um, so I'm doing this on the indoor grill today um, and you can already see that cooking up. I'm gonna top it with some salad. So I'm gonna show you how to make my salad topping. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make, um, pizza is actually a little bit of an homage to a pizza, that, uh, there's a pizza place near my house, and um, there's this cute little Italian lady, her name's Josephine, and she's just the best, and she makes the salad pizza that people drive like miles and miles oh, for. I love that. That's such a good idea. It is, yeah. It's, because it's pizza, can, not only is pizza amazing, but it can be a vehicle for pretty much anything. anything so I love that you're you putting something eat. Exactly. nice and healthy on top. Are you making healthy pizza? I We'll call it that. Sure. <laughs> There's going to be not? cheese and salami on it, but we'll probably <laughs> call it that. Um, so I'm just making a basic red wine vinaigrette. You guys saw me make this a few times last week, a few times this week. I love making my own salad dressings. Um, so this is just a basic red wine vinaigrette. Um, Jen commented below and said that she loves pineapple, ham, and pepperoni Ooh, nice. pizza. Mm, Yummy. So good. Yeah. What's your favorite pizza topping? Um, I'm, an, I'm a little bit of a, uh, uh, this is a little controversial of a topic, but I'm an anchovies girl. Oh yeah. Yeah. Anch I don't know why. I grew up, my mom always had a quarter of the pizza with anchovies on it and the two of us just used to go to town. So yeah. absolutely love anchovies on my pizza. How about that. you? Um, I love, I mean, I, it's not a pizza for me unless there's a ton of meat on it. I oh, just love yeah. a meaty pizza. So I love, I always put sausage on it, but if I don't have sausage, then I do a little salami or some mm. sort of sliced meats. Delicious. Um, I'm just yeah. crank this grill up a little oh, bit. Oh, sure. Um, so uh, Melissa says hi from Arizona. Thank you for commenting. Hello, Hello Melissa. Melissa. You guys are just now tuning in. Today is Pizza Day, and we're Yay. making a few different types of pizza. Um, and let us know in the comments below what your favorite type of uh, pizza toppings are. Jeanette is in the middle of making her salad pizza. Yeah. Um, in just a second, I'm going to show you guys how to make my favorite pizza, which is a Chicago-style mm. pizza. And we also have a dessert pizza we for you guys do. as well. Um, we so have, stay tuned. For we that. have one or two dessert pizzas. We're going to yes. see how much time we've got today. We have we had a few ideas kicking around the kitchen this morning. Um, Sandra said that she loves mozzarella, basil. And chicken on her pizza. That That's a nice so combo. Good. Yes, I that. feel like chicken is such a um, underrated pizza topping. I like like a barbecue chicken pizza. Oh, I yeah, love totally. that. That's, That's so yummy. Um, all right, so to my um, red wine vinaigrette, I just added in a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of oregano, and then I just took half a red onion and I just diced that up too. Um, I'm going to slice this really, really thin. Uh, Pamela says hello from Nashville. Hi, Pamela. Hello, Pam. Pammy. Pam. My mom's name is Pam. <laughs> Pammy. Um, so I'm going to slice this uh, really nice and thin. So, and it was fun. We were actually just talking about, we've been talking about pizza all day. One of our favorite topics, always, <laughs> even when it's not pizza day. Um, and we were just saying how, like, you were saying, right, like, pizza really is just kind of a vehicle for whatever you want to eat. Um, so I love, this pizza's not, not only inspired by Josephine, but also inspired by, you know when you order a pizza and you order a salad and it kind of gets together on your plate? Yeah. And it's just like a cool opportunity to, like, stuff the salad into the pizza. So I always make a salad pizza. I'm like, why not make an intentional salad pizza? Totally. Um, yeah, and a little bit of girl math. I'm actually using a whole wheat crust. Yeah. How's that crust doing? Do you want me to flip it? I think it might be ready You think it might flip. be ready to flip? Check it out. Oh, yeah. Should I think I so, it? yeah. Do you need... Yes. Oh, look at that. Did you guys see how beautiful this is? Those grill marks on that side. How about this side? Yeah, we're looking good. It's ready. Do you we're need some help or you got it? I'm going to do it. Flip it. Uh, look whoops. at that. <laughs> there it is. There it is. So look at that nice charred flavor. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm going to finish making the salad in just a second. This is just a basic oh. salad. You can add anything you'd like to this. Um, but this part was really fun. I like to flavor. So once I flip my pizza, it's now time to start building it because now the heat from underneath is going to start cooking everything. So look at that. That took, what, two, three minutes? Yeah, that was quick. Um, so I'm going to brush this side with a little bit of um, oil that I infused with a little bit of garlic, rosemary, 
and um, red pepper Ooh, flakes. Yummy. But you can infuse it with whatever you want, some basil, some thyme. Yeah, that's such a good idea. Um, it's a little bit of an homage to a focaccia bread, which I love too. Yummy. So um, Megan commented and said that she made cauliflower or made the cauliflower rice and turkey meatballs and they were amazing. Oh, thanks. That's thanks for awesome. Making those, Megan. Yeah, those were cool. And Jessica loves, oh, this is a great idea, Caesar salad pizza. Oh. Which is another salad pizza. You could totally just sub all of these yeah. ingredients out for Caesar salad for Caesar salad ingredients. Um, all right, so I brushed on my oil and that's getting like really nice and bubbly. And now I'm going to top this with a layer of salami. This would be great with ham. If you're doing vegetarian, you could totally um, omit this part. Um, and then I'm gonna top it with a little bit of provolone and I'm gonna let that melt. So Ooh, if I was yummy. doing this on the outdoor grill, all I'd do is just um, shut the top lid. Mm -hmm. But since I'm indoors, I'm gonna grab a piece of foil. Oh, Grant's gonna grab a piece of foil. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. And uh, I'm gonna cover, so I'm gonna top this with some provolone. Um, I like the slices just because I feel like it like really kind of evenly distributes. Um, you can use shredded or whatever you guys like, or if you like mozzarella, you can use that. I like provolone. I just like an Italian like antipasto salad. That's yeah. always like my salad goal. So I, I really like um, provolone. This is nice sharp provolone. I love the idea of grilled pizza too because I'm always looking for a new way to make pizza, but yeah. I was always looking for things to grill. So it's exactly. like such a great compliment. Exactly, and what a great it's like uh, summertime pizza. Time of summertime pizza. All right, so I'm just gonna tent this with a little bit of foil. And um, we want to say hi to our friend Shelly who commented in and she said that she loves Philly cheesesteak pizza. That sounds oh, delicious. Yum. And Lynn says that she loves garlic and prosciutto pizza. Oh, yum. I, I love, love that you guys are as big of pizza fans as we prosciutto. are. I, know, I feel I like we're really this. with our pizza. And I also today. just love hearing what people love on their pizza because everyone has like their favorite topping. Right. I know. And anything's good on a pizza. Yeah, like everything. Um, Grant is going to show us an incredible recipe. He's going to show us his Chicago deep dish style That's pizza, right? right? Yeah. Um, so you guys have probably heard me say before that I used to live in Chicago, and when I moved to New York, I um, started to crave Chicago pizza, and the only place you can get Chicago pizza is in Chicago, obviously. Um, so I had to sort of teach myself how to make my own Chicago-style pizza at home, and this is the recipe that I came up with. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just buttering a springform pan. I like to use a springform pan because it just um, works really nicely for this, but you could also use like a cake pan or something like that. Um, and I'm going to brush it with butter. The reason I'm using the butter is because a lot of Chicago pizzas are made with a butter crust. And I'm using just store-bought dough here, so I don't. it's not going to taste like butter. But if we're going to cook it in the butter, it's going to, you know, mm. kind of have that Indeed. Chicago crust flavor. Um, so I just rolled it out nice and big. And then you just kind of pop it down in there and just let it drape over the sides. Oh, and you want to make sure that it goes all the way in and all the way around. And we're gonna trim this crust, but we're not gonna do it quite just yet because I wanna build the pizza first. So you just let it do that, and it's okay if it has a lot of overhang, but you just want a nice thin crust in there. You don't want it too thick because you don't, you know, you wanna make sure it cooks because it's in the oven, and it's gonna have a ton of toppings in it. So you wanna make sure it's nice and thin. We wanna say hi, Deborah from Dallas commented and said hi, and Becky says hello from Alabama. Oh, hi hello, guys. guys, thanks for watching. Thank happy, you for watching. Happy pizza day. We're having a happy day in it here. It is today. pizza day. Pizza day was always my favorite day in school. It was on Absolutely. Fridays, but I love Pizza Friday. So, so good. Um, what's your, now you're talking about Chicago pizza, and it's funny, I went to Chicago for the first time a few years ago, and um, I was so blown away the first time I ever went to Chicago because you order a pizza and it takes like 45 minutes yeah, for it totally. to come to your table. Yeah. So I was just like, wow, that, that was a change from like New York style pizza, which you can order a slice on the street anywhere and get yeah. it in like a few minutes. But it really is just such a special kind of pizza that you can totally. only get in that part of the country. Yeah. What's your favorite Chicago pizza place? My favorite Chicago pizza place is called um, Lou Malnati's. Mm. Um, it's really, really yummy. You and sent this, me there. It was so good. Yeah. It's one of my favorite places. And this one um, is sort of based off of one of their pizza recipes that has sausage, green peppers, and red onion. Yeah. Um, so we're going to put all of that in there. But um, building a Chicago pizza, it's very specific. Um, the layering process always starts with mozzarella cheese on the bottom. So that's going to be our bottom layer of the pizza. So it's almost like an upside down pizza. It's like cheese on the bottom, toppings on top of that, and then sauce on top of all of that. So we put in one pretty thin layer of sliced mozzarella cheese, and then we're going to top it with some sausage that I've already cooked. Now, a lot of Chicago-style pizza recipes, you put raw sausage in, um, and that makes the cooking process take a long time, like you said. So this is a nice like, sort of shortcut to make a Chicago-style pizza. Since this is already cooked, it's only going to take about 40 minutes to cook, um, which is pretty quick, considering it's a Chicago-style pizza. Caroline commented and she said that taco pizza is the best. Ooh, I'm not sure I ever had taco pizza. I Have you love ever had taco, taco pizza. Yeah. yeah, actually in the cafeteria in high school, every day was, um, or Fridays was pizza day, but they'd switch off the weeks and sometimes oh. it would be Mexican pizza. Oh. 
and sometimes really it would good. be regular pizza. So, so delicious. I know, right? Um, so I just put the sausage in there, and now I'm topping that with some red onions mm. and some green peppers. Jika just commented and said, how long do you cook the pizza for? Um, the grilled pizza is actually, I'm keeping my eye on it. That's almost ready to go. Um, but how long did you, how long, you said about 40 minutes? Yeah, this one takes about 40 minutes, which is uh, pretty quick considering it's a Chicago style pizza. Um, so now I'm gonna top those toppings with one can of diced red um, tomato. Mm -hmm. And I drain that a little bit because you don't want your pizza to be soupy. So you make sure that's nice and um, dry when you put it in. And then just to season it up a little bit, I'm gonna put on my pizza toppings, which is some crushed red pepper flakes and a little bit of dried oregano. Look at that. Look at, that. Look at the grill marks in the bottom Ooh, of that yum. pizza. That I'm, looks gonna, good. I'm gonna take it off. We have a little salami cheese inside. Right. I'm gonna fix that um, right over okay. here. Turn my crust still. So now you just take a knife and you just kind of go around the sides and just really trim off all of that crust. Just like that. Perfect. And then I just like to fold it down a little bit, just so you don't have too much crust. And this kind of keeps all those toppings in there. Mm. Uh, now when I bake this, I always pop it onto a sheet tray and pop it into the oven. That way, in case it leaks at all, you know, you're not going to have a big mess. So I'm going to pop this one in the oven. Oh I have one that's already done. Gosh, it smells so good in here. His pizza's been cooking. Elizabeth commented, and she says, greetings from Norway. Hello, Ooh. Elizabeth in Norway. And hey, Michelle Norway. says, hi from Michigan. Hi, Michelle in Michigan. Hello, Michelle. I feel like Michelle in Michigan's watched this before, because we love saying her name, Michelle yeah, in Michigan. Yeah, it's fun to say. So this is our Chicago style pizza. Oh my Check gosh! It out. Look it's at that presentation. Done. Nice and cool. Um, so let's cut into this. So good. Like... Yes, please. Oh. Here we go. Oh, and I have to top it with a little bit of Parmesan. Yes, you do. Because this is how it comes when you get it in Chicago. Yes. A little dry parm on top. And now let's cut into it and see what it's like. Mm -hmm. If you guys are just now joining us, today's pizza day. It is. And I am cutting We're into really my today. We're just Chicago getting our style pizzas pizza. Done. So good. Here we oh go. my gosh. I love, what I love about a Chicago style pizza is that it's a knife and forker. Yeah. You know, I totally. love seeing people walk around New York City um, eating a whole, like, eating a slice, just like folded up like a triangle walking the street. Yeah. But Chicago pizza is like very sophisticated. It's like you need to sit at the table, at get that. a knife and fork. Oh my goodness. So Chicago style pizza. I gotta get into totally. that. I know. Let me make sure there's some. We do have some knives, and we have a fork. Just one fork, though. We're going to have to share. Okay. <laughs> do you want me to cut you a bite? Yes, please. All right. So I'm going to cut you a bite, and then we're going to um, finish up your salad pizza, uh -huh. right? Mmm. I have to get into this, oh. too. I need your yeah, fork. Yeah, you can use my fork. Thanks. I love that because I just got a red pepper flake, and it was really nice and spicy. Yeah. But you're right. When you put the butter in the cornmeal. So we're using all store-bought doughs today, which is mm -hmm. actually a great tip and helps you make pizza really quickly. Mm, that That's good. so good. Um, but Grant really flavored it up with the cornmeal and the butter in the yeah. dish, so it really gives it that like really nice flaky kind of Chicago pizza style flavor. Um, oh my gosh, Grant, that is so delicious. Thank you. I'm really, I can't wait to come really... back to that, but I also want to try your salad. I know, wait, so I actually wanted to get back over here while the cheese was still warm. Yeah. Um, so that's what it looks like when it comes oh, off yeah. the grill. Check that out. Nice and cheesy and salami. -y. It smells so good. I know it does. Salami so now, um, to my to my salad, I just added in a few roasted red peppers from a jar and um, a few pepperoncini, like banana peppers, are my one of my favorite toppings. Um, so now I take it. I, I make sure to do this while the cheese is still hot off the grill. So I top it with like giant heaps of salad. Oh yeah. But I put it on the melted cheese and the salad kind of like. The cheese is almost like a binder, and it like holds it onto the that pizza. That's so yummy. Right? Yeah. This is like, um, so fresh. Diana said that she likes pizza with prosciutto, gorgonzola, arugula, Ooh. and arugula salad with balsamic dressing. That sounds that's delicious. Nice I, that's another salad pizza I would, would not say no to. Um, Kimberly said that she doesn't like pizza crust, so she makes pizza casserole. Oh. That's a great idea. I've never had a pizza casserole. That sounds yeah. really good. All right, let's slide this, this on the counter. Amazing. Oh, and I top it with... Um, just some big slices of tomato. Yum. And that kind of like distinguishes the different slices. I normally cut this into about six slices. Um, and then you just kind of slice here. You grab the sheet tray out from underneath there. Thank Ooh, you. Oh my gosh, a big, a big pizza baby. All right, let's cut through this and see. You hear how crunchy that is from the grill? Yeah. Oh, so good. Yum. This looks delicious. This way. Um, Pamela asked what the best kind of pan for cooking pizza. Um, for the Chicago pizza, I used a springform pan. If you're just making regular pizza at home, um, we both like to use pizza stones. Yeah, right? we have pizza stones. Um, and Jeanette is using a grill for her seat. I'm just using a grill, grill, yeah. Um, but you can use an outdoor grill for that one. Here you go. Why don't you try this salad pizza? Let me know Ooh, what you yeah. think. Thank so you. So it's nice and grill, fresh off the grill with all those, like, char marks on the bottom. 
you can really dress that up any way you want to. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever salad, whatever mm -hmm. <laughs> cheesy. Mm -hmm. It's very cheesy and delicious. Nice. Oh, I love it. And the nice like acidity to the salad on top is really really yummy. I love I'm like that. a big salad dressing kind of person. Like mm -hmm. I like extra vinegar on my sandwiches mm -hmm. and my and my. It's so especially on this. Something about like the red wine vinegar really makes it nice. Yeah. Um, Anna says hello from Hawaii. Hi Anna. Hi Anna. And um, Christy's <laughs> Christy from Austin, Texas. Hi Christy. Um, on Taco Tuesday, Jeanette actually made some migas, which are based off of a Austin, Texas um, dish, that we, dish that we really love. Exactly. Um, so I got the pe the next pizza crust started for our first dessert pizza. Because we're making two. We're, we're just going to commit to making two right now. Let's just do it. Deborah just commented, and she loves lobster and feta cheese pizza. Ooh, Deborah, yummy. did you write in yesterday about lobster pizza? We were talking yeah, about that, that and what a great idea that was. It's a great idea, and it's something I've never thought about before. No, me either. We've been talking a lot about lobster pizza we in this kitchen. Into it. Uh, Mariana likes white pizza with chicken, garlic, mushrooms, Ooh, and jalapeno. I love white Ooh, pizza. Yum. I mean, I love, you know. I am an Italian girl, so I love my marinara, my marinara sauce, but I do love a white pizza. Yeah, pizza. white pies. All right, ready, Grant? I'm going to flip awesome. this. I'm ready. Ready? There Woo, we go. That was great. That looks so nice. Look at how nice and crispy that is. And this is also a great idea if you want to grill um, your pizza crust. You can make, you know, I just topped the my salad pizza with some oil. You can make this into like a grilled focaccia bread. Just using yeah. dough and brush it with some olive oil, maybe top it with a little bit of cheese and cut yeah. that up for a nice appetizer. I was, yeah, I was going to say that would be a perfect appetizer for happy that. hour. Ooh, happy hour. <laughs> How did we not make a cocktail on pizza day? I don't know. We're too, we're too preoccupied. We've got so many pizzas going on here. Um, so we're about to make our third pizza, which we is are. a dessert pizza. Yes. If you guys are just now tuning in, it is pizza day mm -hmm. um, here on Facebook we're Live. A wonderful time. Uh, Jeanette it's made a salad good. pizza. I did. Yeah. I made this really delicious Chicago-style ah. deep dish pizza. <laughs> and now we're about to make... I'm going to take a giant bite of my diet salad. Oh, yeah, take it. Mm -hmm. um, and this one is a mm -hmm. Nutella, strawberry, ricotta... Do we have a name for this? No, no we don't. There's just a lot of stuff on it, and it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to take this off the grill because I think it's about cooked. Wait, is it cooked? Yeah, it's cooked. Yeah, perfect. So now I'm just going to put on some chocolate hazelnut spread, which Jeanette and I both love. Love. And our friend Joey Cola goes Joey crazy. Joey Cola! Our anytime, audience warm-up guy. Anytime we have Nutella in the kitchen. So if Joey's watching today, this Hi, one's Joey. for you, Joey. Um, and I'm just going to spread this Joey, around Joey, if you're here. in town, come by. We'll have leftovers. We'll save a slice for you. Here, can we switch? I, I think I need you to handle this dough. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of a dough malfunction. All right. I'll do the dough. Great. And then do you want to finish up the I'm going to finish up the dessert pizza. I'm going to a little flour on it. Yeah, we need a little bit of flour. This was on the hot oven. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's very warm. It is very warm. <laughs> Uh, my favorite part about um, making uh, our own pizza is, do we have one in the fridge? Or I don't think we do. I don't think we do. No, we're gonna use this one. Yeah. Um, right. My favorite part about making pizza is that it's a great, fun activity to make with the kids because um, it's almost like play dough, um, and you can play with pizza dough, right? Yeah. I used to when I was a kid, we used to have pizza night at home, and my parents would just buy some dough. Oh. And then we'd make like individual pizzas. Oh, that's so you can put idea. like whatever you want on it. But it was fun as a kid to play with the to play with the dough it and just fun. kind of build your own. Karen just wrote in and she said that um, she suggests pork chop pizza. Yummy. Oh, Karen, that's a pizza I've never heard of. So you're gonna have to yummy. let us know what that is. Alright, I'm gonna finish up our dessert pizza right here. So like Grant said, um, we're big uh, chocolate hazelnut fans around here. So now I'm just gonna top this with some dollops of fresh ricotta. Should I try to spin this like they do in the pizza? I think you should. I've yeah. never tried it before. <laughs> good job! Is that good? I think so. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I mean, it works when they do it, but when I do it, it's not. <laughs> it's not as epic. Not, not at I all. I feel like that's one of those things you need years of practice. All right. So this dough is a little hard to work with, so we're going to make it that size. That's that's the that's the best part about <laughs> grilling your own pizza or even making it at home is that it's going to just be what shape it's going to be. Uh, all right. So I top that with some fresh ricotta. I'm going to top it with some fresh strawberries, which are so good right now. Um, right in the end of July, strawberries so Ooh, that so looks sweet. So yummy. Right. And then I'm gonna top it with a little bit of cinnamon. You got some butter cinnamon? Yeah, just a little bit of cinnamon. It's almost like, it's top. kind of like, maybe it's a little bit of a dessert pizza with an identity crisis. It's like part cannoli, yeah. part, like I always like um, when I go out for pizza, there's some restaurants that do like a dessert calzone. Yeah. And it's always filled with like marshmallows and, and uh, hazelnut spread, which is so good. It's like, is it a cannoli? Is it pizza? Is it it's a dessert salad? pizza. I think we're, uh, I think 
I think nothing's bad about that. Linda just uh, commented and she asked if we could use chocolate spread instead of Nutella. I think so. Yeah, yeah totally. Why not? You could also use peanut butter and make a PB and J pizza. Oh. Wouldn't be mad about that one. Would bitch. not be mad about that. Oh my goodness, this is like gooey and hot and delicious. Uh. There we go. Angelina commented, and she says hi from Queens, New York, just over the bridge. Hey, Angelina. Hello, Angelina. And Terry says that she loves chicken fried steak pizza. That's Ooh, another yeah. pizza I am not familiar with, but that I am really delicious. excited about. All right, I'm going into here. Mmm. That is so good. The fresh ricotta really makes that. And a little bit of the cinnamon, it's almost like, it's it, the ricotta really cuts the sweetness of the hazelnut spread. Yeah. Nice and cold, and it's so hot. This looks yummy. This is definitely one of your grilling pizzas. You should just do it on the fly because it's really impressive yeah. to watch the whole process happen. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And we both have our mouthful of pizza. Um, we wanted to remind you guys that all these recipes are going to be up on the Facebook page just a little bit later. I think we're on to our fourth pizza, yeah, right? Yeah, this is our last pizza, our second dessert pizza. Uh, did we mention that this one was a five-ingredient pizza? No, we didn't. It is five and ingredients. if that's not impressive enough, we're going to nope. make a three-ingredient pizza. Three. So we have our first ingredient right here, which is our pizza dough. I'm removing that from the grill, and we're going to top that. Where are our ingredients go? Right here. Oh, right in front of my face. <laughs> we're going to top that with a little bit of cream cheese, mm. which if you watched yesterday, <laughs> you know that was my secret ingredient. And we this had is a what's little... left over from yesterday. We had a lot of fun yesterday with Grant. If you guys missed that, you can go watch the video on the Rachel Ratio Facebook page. We played um, surprise 15 minute meal, yeah. and you guys helped me pick some really great ingredients. Um, and I gave them to Grant in a bag, and he had to cook a whole 15 minute dinner out of it. And he did such a great job. Those recipes are up on the Facebook yeah, page. Totally. Um, I was I was reading the comments last night, and you got some rave reviews of, over your sweet potatoes. People really, oh, really? love that like creamy hash. Glad yeah. you guys liked it. They really like that. It was fun. Um, and you guys have to come back next week because uh, since Grant did so well yesterday, looks like he's going to be surprising me next Wednesday. I am, and, and I'm, I'm going to need nervous. your guys' help. So nervous. Um, so we just made our last pizza, our, la our second dessert pizza. This is a three-ingredient cinnamon roll pizza. Yes! That's right. So it's just a grilled pizza dough. We topped it with some cream cheese. And now we're going to, or Jeanette just sprinkled the cinnamon sugar on top. Yes, Let's bite into this. It's like a, it smells like a, like a cinnamon roll store, oh, you know? Yes, it does. It smells In like a meth airport. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, so yeah. good. And you have those ingredients. Go get yourself a pizza dough. You That's have all good. those ingredients in the fridge right now. This is yummy. Cheyenne commented and she said that she makes mac and cheese pizza. Oh, that mac and cheese pizza is really big in Wisconsin. Oh, really big in Wisconsin. That's a great idea. Cheyenne, that sounds like a... a trip to Wisconsin for me. Yeah. Sign that me up. delicious. This is so good. Mm -hmm. And that was a three ingredient dessert pizza. Mm -mm. I am so messy today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pizza day was fun, but it was messy. And we're both still chewing. We're both still chewing. Um, we're going to start next week uh, on Taco Tuesday. Yeah. I'm really excited about that. Me too. So come back on Tuesday, same time, same place, right? 1230. We're here. Here on the Rachel Ray Show Facebook page. We're going to have uh, some tacos, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not, let me know, let me guys, let me know what you guys would like to see because um, uh, I'm, I have a few ideas kicking around, but if there's anything fun you'd like to see on Taco Tuesday, comment and let me know. Um, maybe you'll see it here on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Well, have a great weekend, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We're going to eat our pizza now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See you next week. This one is so good. I like this one.